Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're talking Chanel uh, Color Codes release. Look, um, I got a bunch of stuff here. So, you know, the first video I made on this particular summer palette uh, was kind of a review of what's coming up, but now I have them in hand. So let's get straight to it and we can actually touch them, see them and talk about them. So I got a couple of examples here. Now, first and foremost, you know, they had nine mirrors, uh, nine uh, brush palettes, uh, palettes, brush containers, nine colors of brush containers, the same colors as the mirrors. And then they had nine nail files. That was the release and it was called Color Codes. Now, they were made to celebrate uh, the newly launched, and I have here one example, uh, nail polishes. And I have Ovni, the kind of green yellow color right here. So, but let me show you. So, first of all, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco Ball spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. Um, let me cue in a couple of pictures here. Thumb up the video, y'all, and subscribe. It really means the world because uh, YouTube, especially in summer when we're filming this, is like uh, it's like a desert. <laughs> it's like nobody's there. Everybody's on holiday. So let me cue in the pictures. Okay, these are the pictures that I took and uh, that I've posted of my uh, products that I bought. By the way, hashtag not sponsored. I bought all of this with my own dinero. Thank you very much. Um, and I posted these pictures to my Jacob CC. Instagram account, Jacob CC, all spelled together. It's an account uh, that I have uh, dedicated to all these, uh, to, to the love affair that I have with Chanel. It, it's it, There's trouble in paradise always, obviously. It's tumultuous because there is no Chanel without drama, mama. But anyway, so I took these lovely pictures with the flowers of, of the entire color palette. So you get to see close-ups because, of course, if I lift them up. So by the way, this would be Cavalier Seul, which trans, that's the colorway, which translated in oh look how much darker it looks here than there but it all depends like how much you go into the light and how this reflects light you can see it can, can it can turn darker or lighter but it is kind of a gray green color so cavalier seul means uh lonesome rider or lonesome warrior such a poetic name for a color it's a very interesting color between green and gray green and blue and gray and uh so chanel re-released their nail polishes and nine of them were the highlight of the re-release. Ovni, which is the nail polish I have on here, being one of them, and that is this colorway here. So there's uh, Ovni, Diva, Cavalier Seul, which is this here, Fugueuse, um, Incendiaire, uh, Ovni, uh, Immortel, Ballerina, and Rouge Noir. And they have redone their brushes of the nail polishes. They've kind of curved them a little bit. Like it was about time, Chanel. It only took you like, what, 50 years. But anyway, so I, I've done this little photo sesh. Uh, you can go check out all the deets on my Jacob CC Instagram. Let me show you the second picture. So this is nine colors. And all of these colors, this is the color Diva. All of these colors are basically... Uh, made to celebrate the nail polishes. So each one of these colors that came out in these mirrors that come in these black pouches were made to reference the corresponding nail polish. So you guessed it, this particular pink is called Diva. And yes, there is a nail polish also in this colorway, also called Diva. Where is, there it is. This is the Diva double-sided mirror so it's double why because one of these two mirrors are reflect that one of them enhances and one of them is a regular mirror uh they kind of click close like this really gorgeous i have been loving these mirrors for the longest time now listen chanel only did a black one their classic one is the black one with the white double c and um there's this kind of myth of of a red one, like a particular shade of red many years ago, limited edition. But uh, some people say, no, that's a fake one. They never really made it. Some people say, no, they did. So maybe there was a red 
several years ago, but the black one with the white double C is the classic double mirror. And of course, I've had it for many years and I've been begging the sales associates every time I, I see them. I'm like, hey, is Chanel ever going to make colored versions of these mirrors? Thankfully, they finally did. And the colors are really beautiful. Now, several things I was interested to, to know is... Mm, are the pouches going to be colored in the color of the mirrors? Unfortunately, Chanel went cheap on us. They did not do that. In fact, the pouches are all black. You know, a launch like this is made to actually freshen up. It's a limited edition launch, but it's made to promote Chanel the brand. These are special marketing ploys that are done to refresh the vision that the customers have of the brand. So it's so these launches are not necessarily made for you to buy these mirrors because these mirrors are already sold out in most countries. They was they were sold out within hours or days, but they're made for you to create FOMO, to make you come into the stores and ultimately buy the nail polishes that are not limited or to buy perfumes or other makeup. So technically when you're making a product like this, you don't expect to earn money with this product. You're using this product as a business card to rein people in to then make money off of your other products you're selling. That's kind of the shtick, right? But everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. But we're just going through marketing as I've been working in marketing for a long time in my life. I've been working in PR, also in sales, as well as in the production side of things. So been there, done that. But just letting you know how these things work, and they are very special because they really are a one-off thing. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you love them, get them. Don't sleep on this. Now, this was a letdown with the pouches, that they didn't color the pouches. Why am I saying this? Well, I mean, Chanel can do it if they want to. Look what they did with their tweed pouches just last September. They created an entire tweed pouch for their eye palette. They can do special things if they want, but here they're like, no. But another thing I was worried about is like, are these mirrors, are they black, but then just like spray painted, airbrushed on the surface? So of course, the first thing I inspected when I had them in hand was to see if they are just like top surface coated or if the plastic is colored through and through in the color. And thankfully, at least there, they did a great job. The plastic is colored through and through in the color way. So if I were to cut through this mirror, uh, if I were to cut through the plastic, it would be this shade of pink also on the inside. So that is really good, right? So this tells me that at least that effort was put into these. They're made in Malta. Uh, since several years now, they've been making these mirrors in Malta. So even if you buy the black one, that is not limited edition. The black one is always in rotation. It's made in Malta. Let me show you the next colorway. So, of course, I hunted down all of them uh, because I am a sucker for their mirrors. And I've been waiting for like over a decade <laughs> for them to release different colors of these. So for me, this was a no brainer. Here you go. That would be Ovni. And that's the nail color, uh, the nail polish version of it. So, um... And I have it here. And there it is. That's another photo I posted to my Insta. This uh, is a really, really beautiful color. You don't really see how beautiful it is um, on photos. And uh, in fact, this was my least liked color when they just released the pictures, when the first images leaked. Uh, but then uh, when you see it live in store, this one actually went up really high uh, to my top favorite, even as nail polish. It has an 80s vibe to it, but it's kind of, it also has a 50s vibe to it, that kind of eggshell yellow 50s vibe, pastel-y 50s yellow. Uh, it's like a green yellow, but what, you know, what really sold me on this particular product is the name. I'm such a sucker for clever names. And let me tell you the clever name of this one. The, the clever name of this one is uh, OVNI, O-V-N-I, which in French is an abbreviation of, I'm going to butcher my French, my lovely, affluent, elegant French ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who am I quoting here? Uh, comment down below. Not um, 
Ovni is an abbreviation for objet volant non identifié, which means non-identifiable flying object, which means unidentifiable flying object, which means UFO. Yes, you guessed it. Ovni in French is the equivalent of the English UFO. And I just, when I, when I found out that that's the name of this, me being a sucker for everything science fiction related and then like science fiction connected to Chanel and I love toys and I'm a big toy collector, horror movie fan. I being a big toy collector, I'm also like into chase figures, you know, chase figures basically like when a toy brand releases a toy and then there's like a certain color variant that they sneak into certain stores and then you have to hunt them down. Oh, such a sucker for that stuff. So Chanel did a similar thing with these because um, you could get only five colors in their beauty boutiques, but you could get nine colors online, but uh, some were distributed in very small quantities. So OVNI, for example, was one of the first to just be gone. Like a UFO. It was like invisible. You couldn't really see it. So you had to hunt this one down. So of course the hunter instinct in me just went ballistic. Um, so OVNI means UFO in French. So for me to have this, this thing called UFO with this weird green, yellow, pastel 50, it's such a bizarre color. It keeps kind of shifting you have to keep guessing what color it is, uh, just living for it. So technically this kind of grew to be almost my, yeah, my, it's in my top, where, where's my pouch for this one? Uh, in my, in my top, but in the top two together with, look how beautiful they look next to each other. Oh, they really did something. I, you know what? We'll go, we'll go. Anyway, so there's that. Let me show you the next picture. And so they released nine of, okay, this is Rouge Noir. This one was the most difficult to photograph, you guys, because uh, Rouge Noir, and uh, I, again, we have the, the nail polish version of it. Really beautiful. One of my favorite colors of Chanel nail polishes. It also exists as a lippy, one of the most iconic Chanel nail polishes and lipsticks. And they finally made also the mirror. Uh, now... This one is really hard to photograph because it's a very, very, very dark shade of this burgundy blood red. So, as you can see, it reflects light like crazy. And the second it starts reflecting light, it turns to a very light color. So, uh, this one is a fingerprint magnet because the darker these mirrors are and the more you see all the little fingerprints on them. Um, not my favorite of the nine. But it is beautiful when put in the context of all nine of them, it makes sense. It also makes sense to make Rouge Noir because it is their most iconic uh, color, their most iconic nail polish color. So it's a no-brainer that they would make them. Now, of course, they also made the nail files. I didn't buy the nail files. Why did I not buy the nail files? Because a couple of years ago, um, you know, I'm a... I spend a lot of money at, at Chanel Beauty, so certain clients get certain, you know, like little freebies for uh, in the holiday season, what have you. And then three or four years ago, maybe even five years ago, this uh, set was gifted to me. Tiny nail file and a big nail file. The same exact ones that now they're selling. They used to be for free. So you see, that's why I didn't buy it. So they're made in glass and I, I've received the white one and the black one back in the day uh, and I collect all these things so I'm a collector so of course I still have it but now they're now they've made them in all the colorways like you know Rouge Noir and this and that I didn't because $30 or $32 for a nail file that was a freebie four years ago Chanel sorry no not gonna happen but these were never freebies the mirrors perfection but now imagine if this mirror had a Rouge Noir pouch to go with it instead of the the black uh, much better, right? But they went cheap on us. And this is really irritating. Okay, let me show you the next one. So these are all pictures that I took. This is a gorgeous color. This one was online exclusive. Immortel is the name of this one. Of course, it also exists as a nail polish. Um, it's kind of a lilac-y lilac pink. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful color. What can I say? Chanel has been actually working with this color. They've made the 22 bag. 
the first edition of the 22 bag uh, was made in this shade of of lilac together with a shade of like a salmony pink but anyway like I said, there's a nail polish for this one. So this one you could only get online. You cannot get this one in the Chanel boutiques. So of course this one sold out online immediately. People then ask the boutiques, can we get it? No. So you see these kind of brand marketing strategies that Chanel is doing to create FOMO. And now I'm living ferret, okay? Because I am that sucker that gets sucked into stuff like this. But I'm not completely a victim to this because like I said, you know, a couple of years ago, we had the advent calendar. I did not buy it and I recommended nobody buy it. I thought that was a pure and simple ripoff. While on the other hand, I don't think this is a ripoff. I don't because I think these mirrors are if you love these mirrors, you love them. And I think they're really beautiful. Now, you're going to ask yourself, yeah, but this makes no sense to buy these. Like, you know, you, where's my example of uh, here? When you buy their palettes, you, like here, a blush, I have a blush here. Or if you buy a quad for the eyes and you open these, there's always, there's always a mirror in there. So why do you need to buy this if you already have the mirror in these? Well, first of all, it's much thinner, it's sleeker, elegant, and then it's the color, right? It's the color that gives it. And, and also, let me tell you a little secret. It's not that I have these in my bags and I'm just like pulling them out of the bag to freshen up. No, they're just such beautiful objects. I have them laying around the house everywhere. They're like little, but that's just me. I'm not telling you you should do this. I'm just telling you how I, the nerd, the Chanel nerd that I am, this is how I do it. So they're like, for me, little splashes of beautiful color all around the house. <laughs> I just like seeing them. They're very decorative. And then I use them as well, obviously. I kind of grab them. I gravitate towards them, but they're just so beautiful to me, right? Uh, so this is how I kind of use these mirrors. They, they're all over the place for me. Let me show you the next colorway. So this one is called Encendier, which means the fire starter or the incendiary, you know, something that can start, you know, can burn you up or whatever. And this color, uh, also very interesting because, uh, again, it is a, um, what you might call it? Hold on a second. It is a nail polish, but also I think a lipstick. And I photographed this one in particular with a very dark red background. And the flower here is slightly, almost like as if it were burned. It's kind of drying up on the side. So I, I positioned this one here to give that vibe of like wherever you put this incendiary product, right? It kind of burns everything in its surroundings. So that was the idea that I had for this photo. Love this colorway. This one was an online exclusive. So you had to hunt this one down quickly again, because this one was one of those that like sold out like that because it's not available in the stores. Again, the hunt instinct. And of course, also available as a nail file, available as a um, brush kit. Let me show you the next colorway. Ballerina. Now, this is a very interesting one because uh, the colorway Ballerina, as a nail polish, very popular. One of Chanel's most popular at the moment nail polishes. Sold out most of the time. Very hard to get. They do restock, but it's always hard to get. Ballerina is a, is a very antique, dusty, powdery rose color. Um... Very hard to photograph because it, it easily can look almost white. It's a very, very pale, pale rose. I wouldn't dare call it even pink, okay? It's the it's the color of ballerina slippers for dancers. It, it's a rose. It's a dusty antique rose more than a pink. And um, so it's a particular color, very, very pale, very washed out, very delicate, but Within the context of all of these together, it makes sense. It is really beautiful. But on its own, but anyway, it's one of the best sellers. This is one of the first that that went together with Ovni. Ovni and Ballerina were the two first to, to sell out. So this is a very, 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 very loved colorway. 
coincidentally also one of the first colorways to sell out in the brush kit. We're going to get to the brush kits in just a second. The next colorway, which is also number eight, is fugus, which means mm, like like, uh, like a runaway, somebody who is, uh, that would be fugace in Italian, somebody who is kind of elusive, elusive and uh, often hard to catch. Coincidentally, also really hard to catch the color of this one. It's a very dark indigo blue, deep, deep, gorgeous, deep ocean blue. That, however, as you can see, it's reflecting the flower. It reflects like crazy because this thing is highly glossy. Fingerprint magnet. For me to take this photo, ugh, this was really hard to do because you have to have gloves. You, you can't touch this with your fingers because the fingerprints stay on it. So you have to polish it, polish it, polish it position it with the gloves, find the angle so it doesn't reflect the light too much, and then you take the, the picture. This thing was a headache to photograph. But um, this one looks better in the leather pouch for the brushes than as a mirror, just because the leather absorbs the light rather than reflect it so much as it does here. I love the fact that it has a black double C on the dark blue, which if we can go back one step, I want to show you ballerina again. Just wanted to quick note here. I would have personally preferred, much more preferred to have this ballerina color with a white double C printed and a white circle around it. I think this one would have benefited so much more if it had the white double C and the white circle. That would have made it just that much more special. But again, Chanel, you see what I feel like? They went a little bit cheap here. They're like, okay, black print on all of them. Make it all the same. And I'm like, you could you could have done better. Zubena, Zubena. But this is one of the reasons why I photographed this one next to white flowers, because I wanted to give that concept of how beautiful white is with ballerina together. So imagine this double C being white. Delish. Okay, let me step uh, two forward now. So we had the dark blue, which is next. And then the last one being this little cutie patootie uh, the, <laughs> with apricots. I photographed it with apricots because it has an apricot kind of color. So this one is called Pre uh, Première Dame, which means like the first lady. First lady, something like that. And I have here so depending on the light again and i photographed it here i tried to give it that elusive skin tone of a peach or an apricot you know how it's kind of furry and fluffy like how the skin look how beautiful the skin of the apricot is it has that beautiful fluff so this is where i try to photograph it giving it a gradient so that it comes from this lightness all the way to the dark hue up here. And that gradient gives the illusion of this being fluffy, like a peach or fluffy, like an apricot. Now, however, when you have flat light projected on it, it does look more orange, doesn't it? Here, it looks more orange. But if we kind of bring it more to the sun, to the, to the sun, to the spotlights, it's going to kind of, well, it still stays kind of orange. It's an orangey, but in real life, it's a kind of like a beige meets apricot. It's a very, very strange color that changes depending on the light source that hits it. It's almost a little bit like a chameleon, but it's a gorgeous hue of a pastel orange. This, unfortunately, is not very popular. This is not one of those colors that went off the shelves. So, uh, and this one was not an online exclusive. So you could get this one online, but you could also get this one in the Chanel Beauty Boutiques. And yes, it also exists as a brush kit. Now, I did not buy the leather brush kit of this colorway. Uh, and I have an issue with it because, and this is again where Chanel went quite cheap. So this is the nine colorways. We've seen them all. Now, let me go back to the Diva, which is, I think, the second one. Maybe it's number two. There it is. This is uh, together with um, Ovni, my favorite color, Diva. 
uh, diva. But look how gorgeous it is when you kind of put them together and you start kind of building up these palettes. I mean, we'll go, we'll go. Ah, I just <laughs> live in ferret. But anyway, so what I want to say is with, in particular, the orange one, you need time and work and more budget to match up the colors throughout the entire range. What does this mean? That the nail polish is the same hue as the mirror, that the mirror is the same hue as the brush kit, that the brush kit is the same hue as the nail file. They completely messed it up with this, with Premiere Dame. Why? Because the leather pouch is a completely different color to this. And they could have fixed it, but it takes time, trial and error, till you kind of balance out the colors to make them just right. But they didn't care. And that's where, again, I felt Chanel went, she, that's another con, where, where I felt like Chanel went cheap on us there. Now we get to the piece that I did buy. And I bought this one, not because I'm like, I, listen, I'm a huge fan of their makeup brushes. I bought this one to inspect it. Uh, more so than to um, than to actually, I don't know. I really, really wanted to to figure out how this thing works. So anyway, this is Diva in the Diva color in the brush set. This is leather made in China, by the way. It's a freebie, y'all. I have the Sublimage, le also leather freebie given to me a couple of years ago uh you know like a gift with purchase uh, yes it's a bit smaller because you're supposed to put that pump cream in here but it's the same concept probably made in the same factory as well it's the same quality of leather this is taller because the brushes are longer but but even with the diva i have an issue because even under these very strong lights you do see the difference how this could have been lighter. They could have matched this pink more to this pink if they really wanted to. <laughs> um, but this is a more flashy pink than this. And you can fix this. You can fix this, but you need time. You need to try to do it over and over and over again. You know what I mean? But they didn't tweak the hue to make them all match. However, if you go on the Chanel website and you check out the palettes all photographed nicely together, Photoshop did its job. On the Chanel website, all the colors match. The mirror color matches the leather pouch color completely, but not in real life. And that's where they went cheap on me. And another con is this. I was expecting when these were announced that for every one of these, so these exist in nine colors, just like the mirrors exist in nine colors, right? I was expecting these to come out like this colored, but on the inside, you get these three brushes. And See what they did here? They're black. Now, I was talking to a sales associate who did admit to me that when they were briefed about this like many months ago, that everybody understood that when these would launch, that the actual brushes, these handles of the brushes would be the color of the container. That's how you do it. That's how you do that's how you do a limited edition release. Instead, they made the freebie colored, but the brushes that you're actually purchasing, you can you can buy them. So these you can buy them individually. You can buy these three brushes individually. Okay. You get the foundation brush, uh, you get the blush brush, and you get a double-sided eye brush. One side is to apply eye makeup and the other side is to blend. Now, I can show you here, and I love it to bits. I've been using it for years now. I have already the blush brush. It's right here. So this is the used one. This is the new one. And uh, it's exactly the same. 
<laughs> as the one in the kit. The handle, at least the handle should have been colored. They didn't have to color the bristles and all that stuff. They could have at least colored the handle. And this pouch that protects it, they could have colored that as well. So this is what I mean when I say, when Chanel launches these special limited editions, like, and it costs more than buying them individually, you know, you, you're, you're also paying for this. They're not giving you this for free. To buy this kit, uh, it's going to cost you, I, I don't know, well, depending on the country you're in, but be between 10 and 20 bucks more just to get this piece. Um, this piece is awesome, by the way. Why? Well, here's one of my latest obsessions. This is not Chanel, but it's uh, Yves Saint Laurent's Rive Gauche in its gorgeous 70s can bottle in metal. Very delicate. Now, when you travel, you can protect it. Fits like a glove. Coincidentally, if you're a fan of Coco Mademoiselle, the perfume, uh, in the low version, which also comes in a can spray, it also fits in here. So it's a great, great transportation device for your perfume. So that is something really, really nice. Now, like I said, uh, exactly. So I, uh, I'm filming this video in front of a live a virtual audience and I have my co-chatter saying, Amy saying in the chats, uh, such a prestigious brand should be meticulous. The details are everything. I completely agree with you. And the fact that this is a freebie, I mean, even more so. <laughs> if you look in here, it's actually going to tell you that it's made in China. It's going to say made in China. It's going to say 100% cow leather. At least they say it's cow leather and not like pig or some pork or something. Um, and it says you can't wash it and yada, yada. This one is also coincidentally leather and it's a freebie. And it was really for free. Um, but I do love the color, and I also kind of treat this as a lightsaber. I kind of go through uh, the house just holding it all the time, and we go... So it is my little lightsaber that also contains perfume. There you go. Am I going to put brushes in here? I might, when I travel, actually put brushes in here. However, I'm not a huge fan of this one. This is the only brush that I'm not a huge fan of. I'm going to start using it because now it's in the collection, but... These two are my favorites. They should have, in my humble opinion, instead of the foundation brush, they should have put this one into the kit, which is the powder brush to apply, you know, powder. But they didn't put this in the kit. Why? Because the powder brush is the most expensive of all the brushes, and they did not want to give you this more expensive brush. You see what they did there? But for me, it would have been powder, blush, and eye. These would be my, these are the three brushes from Chanel that I use every single day. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. I know some people complain, oh, these are synthetic. They only want natural brushes. I love that they're synthetic. They're still amazing, even though they're synthetic. Some people say because they're synthetic, they don't pick up product as much. I'm really, they pick up enough product for, for me. So I'm really happy with them. Uh, so like I said, I'm probably not going to be traveling with this one. And I'm going to exchange this one for the powder brush. And then I'm going to kind of, you know, like have them in here. Or I'm just going to travel with the perfume instead. We'll go, we'll go. I mean... But yeah, when you have it, once you have it in hand, once you have this set in hand, you're... It is much nicer than on photos. This, I have to admit, it's, it feels nice. It's a nice glossy touch. It smells like leather. Thank God, could you imagine? So yeah, it's a, it's a cool little freebie, but I do think that Chanel should have for this launch really made it special for us collectors. Because like I said, most of us Chanel lovers, we already have all these brushes. We have them already. So if you're gonna make me buy the brush again, don't do it for the container. You know, make me buy the brush because it's going to have a pink handle or a yellow handle. Could you imagine having it this color, like the nail, the ovni? Ah, gorgeous. But also like to combine, you see how look, how, look how good they look together, these colors. 
Really, really cool. I, I think it really works. I think Chanel really did something here. Anyway. Ah, look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. So anyway, that's just me being a total geek for colors and dots and stuff like this. I know it's totally useless, but things like these make me really, really happy. Uh, they just make my kind of kid toy collector heart flutter. So anyway... Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, which, which would be your favorite color? Did you get all nine colors? Did you get all nine mirrors? I've heard some people got all nine of these as well. So the mirrors were around 40 bucks. This was around $160. Uh, and the nail files were around 30, something like that. Or 45, 32, and 100. 65, something like that. I don't know, because then you gotta add the taxes in every country, it's different. So let me know your thoughts down below. Kev, yes, real leather. It says right underneath the lid here, Kev is asking, is it real leather? It says body 100% cow leather. They literally spelled it out, cow leather. And the lining is 100% recycled plastic. The freebie one from Sublimage that I got several years ago has lining in cotton, which I prefer to the synthetic lining in this one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching until next time. Oh, one last thing. Now, if this is a freebie in real Chanel leather that they give you for 10 bucks, because like I said, when you buy the kit, if you buy the brushes separately, it's going to cost you less than if you buy it in the kit. Unless you're in Canada. Somebody from Canada told me that in Canada, it's cheaper to buy the kit than to buy these separately. Maybe they have a different law there. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm like, oh, so I pay $10 for this, right? Because the brushes and then are a certain amount, like 150 and then $10 for this. And I'm like, oh, so Chanel leather can cost less. <laughs> <laughs> so this doesn't have to cost $2,000, Chanel, after all. It can also cost ten. Interesting. Good to know, Chanel. And now I'm, now I'm waiting to see how many uh, people are going to turn these into bags. You know you're out there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which colors you got, if you got any. What did you get? Did you get all of them? Like I said, so I've heard people got nine of these, all the colors of this one. I just got one of the brush kits. But let me know. And what is your favorite? The kit, the mirror, or the nail file? Love you loads. Thumb up this video and subscribe.